Hello, one and all. I hope that this finds you doing well in whatever corner of the world you are currently in. I've missed seeing you around the School of Music, Theater, and Dance these past few weeks. This semester and this year have ended vastly differently than any of us might have anticipated. That said, I hope that you have still been able to make music, create art, grapple with a scholarly question here and there, and engage in meaningful connections with others from the comfort of your homes. It is truly an honor to have the opportunity to share a few thoughts with you today, if even from a distance. I'd like to begin by thanking the entire University of Michigan School of Music, Theater, and Dance community for considering me for this award. I am honored and I am humbled. Thank you. I would like to also express my gratitude to the friends and colleagues I have built relationships with here, and I look forward to the continued evolution of those relationships in the months and years to come. Further, I consider myself beyond lucky to have learned from such dynamic and supportive faculty throughout the school and university. But I would like to particularly thank the music education faculty for the many ways that they have inspired, empowered, and nurtured me as an educator, researcher, and future scholar. The past two years have been exciting and rewarding and challenging and immensely special. That being said, I owe my deepest thanks and love to Darrell, my parents, my sister, my grandmother, and all of my friends for their support along the way. I was asked to prepare something for today that represented the core of my purpose while pursuing my master's degree in music education here at SMTD. Because I am a teacher, I am going to do what most teachers do best, and that is I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes. My hope is to share a few ideas that are significant to me from the world of music education, but also that might relate to all of our collective roles as teachers, performers, artists, and scholars, especially in times like these. Yes, we will briefly go back to a middle school and high school choir room today, but we will do so because I believe that some of the tools many of us gained in our formative music education spaces years ago, specifically those experiences that taught us how to connect with our humanity through music, may be more relevant today than ever before. So, a bit of context. Before starting grad school in the fall of 2018, I taught middle and high school choral music for nine years in North Carolina. Leaving that school to attend grad school was really, really tough. I felt, however, that I had more to learn and that additional experiences and studies might provide me the opportunity to invest in the music education profession in a broader sense. I've been grateful to continue thinking about those important issues related to music education while here at SMTD. I've been inspired by a variety of music education coursework based in philosophy, curriculum, psychology, and research that has pushed my thinking forward, transformed my writing, and taught me how to ask deeper questions. I've had the thrill of engaging with undergrads who also want to be music teachers, getting the chance to learn and grow with them as they navigate their own journeys towards being the future generation of music teachers. And perhaps most meaningful has been my time with the Crescendo Detroit Pathways program, where a collection of Saturdays throughout the year a few SMTD undergraduate music ed majors and I have had the honor to be a small part of music learning experiences with a group of passionate kindergarten through 12th grade students and their inspirational teachers from Detroit. It is in this program especially where standing alongside those committed Detroit educators and our SMTD undergrads that I have been able to again reflect about the importance of developing music education spaces that are focused just as much on the humans involved as on the music itself. My work with those students and teachers from the fantastic Crescendo Detroit program, the amazing undergraduate music ed students from SMTD, and my beloved students from North Carolina, 
continue to inspire my educational activities here and are central to my thoughts on what constitutes vibrant and thriving music education spaces. Broadly, I'm interested in how issues of equity and social justice intersect with rich music learning experiences. Within those core ideals, however, I believe that at their most foundational level, music education spaces exist at their highest potential when fostering two essential ideals, strong relationships and a sense of community. During my time teaching in North Carolina, the building of relationships and community and connectivity through music were central to my philosophy as a music educator. Of course, musical goals and objectives were always foundational to the work my students and I tackled in the classroom. Yes, we wanted to improve our sight reading skills, round our choral vowels just a little bit more, tackle a complicated piece of music, deliver a powerful performance, or master that tall choral posture. Yet, at the end of the day, it was always most important that my students perceived my classroom as a place where they could be safe, brave, vulnerable, and passionate together as a community. I believed then, and still do, that a music classroom community rooted in these ideals opens up profound opportunities for students and teachers to share meaningful learning experiences together. My students and I in North Carolina sought to build our relationships and form our community in a variety of ways. Connections were built through handshakes as students entered the room each day, or by leaning into emotional class discussions about themes of love, death, or acceptance of our own identities in the repertoire we sang. Or they formed through impromptu one-on-one -on -one conversations about life before or after school. Or even just by taking time in class on a Friday to put our music down and share something from our week that we were either proud of or struggling with on a personal level. These moments throughout the day, the months and years gave us the opportunity to listen, build trust and learn more about ourselves and each other. As a result of the trust and connection we fostered, as well as the relationships and community we built together, we were able to embark on musical and emotional journeys on a more unified and wholehearted level. This intentional investment in connectivity and community never diminished or took time away from our music making. If anything, it informed and heightened it. Relationships, community, connectivity, they are all essential to who we are as humans. And music, dance, and theater are perhaps the most complex, nuanced, and beautiful ways to explore and express that humanity. The concept of connecting with others and coming together to create or partake in a shared experience like playing, singing, dancing, or acting together is at the heart of what many of us in SMTD believe in the most. We connect and share and build relationships within a variety of communities. Our ensembles, our production teams, dance studios, on stage with our cast members, or in our seminar rooms, practice rooms, recording studios, and teaching spaces. Ultimately, we develop relationships and build community with our peers, our professors, and our audiences in hopes that we might collectively share and experience something special together. Perhaps that shared experience is the full-bodied surge of goosebumps we feel when our ensemble hits a chord perfectly for the first time. Perhaps it's that moment in a theater or a dance hall when those on stage immerse their audience in a collective experience of joy, laughter, or sorrow. Or maybe it's the rush of adrenaline we feel when we speak passionately with others about important issues in music, teaching, and learning. Regardless, these shared experiences, these connections, are often the essence that propels us forward as artists, teachers, and scholars. Since the second week of March, some of us may have felt disconnected from this specific essence. 
the loss of in-person connection and shared experiences of all kinds, not just musical, artistic, or educational, has been palpable. Our shared experiences in the ways we have come to expect and desire them have been halted and sidelined. Recitals, concerts, presentations, and student teaching placements have all been canceled. End of year or end of degree celebrations adjusted. Our participation in these shared experiences, whether as a contributor or audience member, and the kinetic connectivity we gain from those experiences have been disrupted. And that's difficult to manage and think through. However, I feel that perhaps if there is a silver lining here, it is that we have the reminder that our souls still do value and crave connection and shared experiences. Our souls still have the capacity and the yearning for those ideals. Perhaps this digitally distant reality proves just how precious our relationships, communities, and shared connectivity really are. Perhaps this time will solidify the sustaining power of these foundations in our classrooms, rehearsal spaces, performance venues, and lives. Connections, shared experiences, relationships, a sense of community. These elements were and continue to be the core of my philosophy as a music educator, but also as I am experiencing more and more each day now, they are foundational to life. We will emerge from this period and we will be ready to illuminate connectivity and shared experiences again through our performances, our teaching, and our scholarship. As we look forward, may these ideals remain central to all that we do in music, dance, and theater classrooms, rehearsal spaces, and performance halls. May they remain central within our community's many diverse and rich contributions to a world that needs them now more than ever. Students will pour back into their music classrooms. Audiences will return to concert halls and theaters. We will gather to connect again. And around the country and here at the University of Michigan, our community will lead the way in fostering that connection once more. The stage lights will snap back on, the library doors will open, the dance studio will vibrate, the vocal warm-ups will commence again, and the crescendos will swell. We'll be back at it together, connecting and sharing as best we know how. Thank you.